Coming up on today's news episode, Weston Anderson in Son of a Digger, Monster Jam in Australia, and new lineups for upcoming shows. All of this is coming up, so let's jump straight into the episode. Hey guys, I'm back. Last week, I wasn't feeling too well, so Zach covered the video for me, but now I'm feeling much better and ready to jump straight into the news. So let's begin with the recap of last weekend. There were two shows for Monster Jam last weekend, London and Kansas City. Let's start off with London. The first overseas show for Monster Jam was a huge deal and was treated as such. An incredible amount of people would attend the first show in London. Two of those being Monster Jam Lord and Avengers Racing both of which recorded the show for their YouTube channel and whose footage I'm using on screen. Credit to both of them. Tom Benz, for the first time in a while, used a CRD Max D instead of the usual Wilman truck he's used throughout the season. Racing saw Todd LaDuke in Blue Thunder defeat Tristan England in Megalodon for the racing win London. The reigning skills champion Tom Menz in Max D would win skills in London and Freestar was won by Armando Castro in El Toro Loco. Your overall event champion is Todd LaDuke in Blue Thunder. London looked to be an awesome show and hopefully Monster Jam will return in the coming year. Moving on to Kansas City and before the show even started, Intrigue was flying around. The track would be the Red Tour track, instead painted yellow. And honestly, it was really cool to see it being used again. On top of that, Adam Anderson would be sick, so Tyler Menninger would get the call and fill in for him. Speaking of Menninger, he would go on to win the racing competition, defeating Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips of Mohawk Warrior. Ryan Anderson would go on to win his 12th skills challenge of the season in Son of a Digger. And Freestar would be won once again by Byron Musawa in Zombie. Your overall event champion would be Ryan Anderson. Kansas City, while being exciting, was also filled with controversy when Mark List would lose control in skills and hit the wall, causing stadium damage. Overall, it was a solid showing in Kansas City. We also have some results from the All-Star Monster Truck Tour in Lake Erie. On day one, Wildside would win Best Trick, Freestyle, and the overall win, and Crazy Train would take the racing win. On day two, Wildside would win Best Trick, Racing, and the overall win, and Crazy Train would once again win Freestyle. That's it with the recap and on to the news, our first story. New truck for Lubson. Kevin Lubson is back with a brand new truck known as SWAT. SWAT is his fourth truck in his fleet, owning Bucking Bronco, Wadded Up and Canadian Crusher. It's a really basic yet effective design and I'm excited to see it at more shows. Weston Anderson driving son of a digger. Weston Anderson has had a phenomenal season in 2022 and his biggest show besides World Finals Baby in Glendale on October 1st. Glendale was recently announced to have another show in October and part of the lineup was revealed, which we'll cover later. The most interesting thing that was shown off was that Weston Anderson would be driving Son of a Digger. For reasons that we'll explain in our next story, Weston driving Son of a Digger is a perfect fit, and I can't wait to see him tear it up in Glendale. But the big question is, where is Ryan Anderson? Well, many have speculated, and we may have got our answer in a comment thread on Facebook. The question that was asked was if Ryan Anderson was scheduled to drive somewhere else on the date of Glendale when Phil Vicananza replied, should be overseas that weekend. When asked again by another individual if that event has even been announced, Phil replied with, whoops, followed by a kangaroo emoji. This only suggests one thing, that Ryan Anderson might be overseas during Glendale and as such, Weston Anderson will be taking his place. That then leads to another question, is Monster Jam returning to Australia? 
Phil's comments suggest that Monster Jam will in fact be returning to Australia, but this has not been confirmed by Monster Jam themselves. It has been speculated that they will return, and honestly, I hope they do. Now, I must stress that this is a rumor and a rumor only, and nothing is set in stone until we get an official announcement from Monster Jam themselves. I guess only time will tell, but if it does get announced, you know I'll be there to cover it. New lineups for upcoming shows. We have a few new lineups and shows coming up this weekend. Starting off with this weekend shows is Nashville and Selena's for Monster Jam. The lineup for Nashville is as follows. John Gordon in Bad Company, Camden Murphy in Back and Gun Dragonoid, Cole Bernard in Black Pearl, Mark List in El Toro Loco, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger, Matt Pagliarulo in Chester, Nick Pagliarulo in Kraken, Cynthia Gothier in Lucas Stabilizer, Jamie Garner in Overboard, Ryan Disharoon in Saigon Shaker, Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger, and Byron Musawa in Zombie. The lineup for Salinas is as follows. Elvis Lainez in El Toro Loco, Travis Mowry in Extreme Attitude, Weston Anderson in Grave Digger, Paul Jensen in Jurassic Attack, Banan Light in Megalodon, Zach Jensen in Rockwell Red, Caleb Blood in Soldier Fortune, David Olfer in Velociraptor, Mike Christensen in Vendetta, and Dalton Widener in Wrecking Machine. Now, going off what we mentioned before, there is a partial lineup for Glendale, which is scheduled for October 1st. Well, we know 6 out of the presumably 12 trucks, there may be more, but we don't know as of right now. And those 6 are Adam Anderson in Grave Digger, Weston Anderson in Son of a Digger, Bryce Kenny in the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior, Mark List in El Toro Loco, Cole Vinan in the Black Pearl, and Lindsay Reed in Monster Mark Dalmatian. The biggest thing to note here is other than Weston Anderson in Son of a Digger, Lindsay Reed will be returning this time to Drive Dalmatian. Next up is Rosemont, which is scheduled for September 16th to 18th. The lineup for Rosemont is Kristen Anderson in Grave Digger, Tristan England in Earthshaker, Brittany Marcotte in Zombie, Armando Castro in El Toro Loco, Chad Tingler in Stone Crusher, Shane Freed in Hooked. Jamie Garner in Overboard, and Zach Garner in Wildside. The biggest thing to note here is that Brittany Marcotte is back, and hopefully she will get a full-time ride for next season. The rest of the lineup is also pretty solid. What do you think of the news we covered today? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you all soon with some more Monster Truck content.